back at it. December 30th, Justin just had his baby the, uh, last night. So exciting news there. I'm headed to do a new piece of property I got permission on. Um, this past summer, I've never hunted it. Ran a couple of cameras in here after gun season. Never had anything show up until uh, two days ago. We had a slammer of a deer show up on the Spartan that I put up about a month and a half ago. And just a big bedding area tucked back in where no one can get to. And he was coming out of there. So that's my plan is to perch up kind of above this pond back here and play the thermal game because the wind's not very good. It's just kind of one mile an hour everywhere. So I'm going to sit up above this pond. Hopefully I don't blow the deer out of the county, but you never know. So headed in three o'clock. Deer was on camera at 4.30 two days ago when it was like 48 degrees or something. So had a little minor cold front push through last night. So temperatures are mid 30s. So we'll see what we can't make happen or mess up tonight. So I made it to the pond and that deer was on camera right over there. He came out of this bedding area way back in there and followed through right on the other side of that pond. And the Spartan's right there on the fence corner. And he must have went out to the corner. But if they come off this side, I should have a nice easy 100, 120 yard shot right over there. If they come down below, I can, I can get a shot down in here too, so. Should be one or the other if they're gonna do it. We'll see. It's, it's freaking warm. I don't, not a big fan of hunting late season when it's this warm. But can't kill them on the couch and you don't know if you don't go. So. Here we go.
that's my deer I've been here after. Of course, he was on the other side of the freaking fence, otherwise I could have nailed him. This never freaking fails, man. All those does are going to the, to the north. He's going to follow them, so it'll be over. Good to see him, I guess. No, he's in here pretty good. He was headed out to the corn, so I think I can loop and get around. God dang it. I can never get a freaking break, man.
He's down. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. But this is what happens when you self film. I made a huge loop around this timber. He came out right here. And I was clear over there on the other side of that pond. Sucker came out right there. It was just over this rise enough to where I could slip down right here behind this tree line. I saw him go down. Maybe yes. I cannot believe it. Dear, we had one picture of two days ago and that's it. Whether he moved in or he was just living here and we didn't have him on camera, whatever, but. Yes! I gotta call Justin. Oh, yes! Hello? He's dead, buddy. No way. I snuck around and I mean, I didn't get it on video, but I GoPro'd it the whole way to him. I snuck, no he came out in this freaking cornfield, dude, and I snuck all the way around that, that block. No way. It's freaking quiet as, as it is, dude. I thought there was no way, but I could hear deer on the other side of this hill. I was like, dang it, I just gotta, I gotta creep up. Dude, there's no way. <laughs> He's freaking big, dude. Call me down there. <sighs> I'm gonna eat there real quick and then head that way. Okay, Clip. dude, I'm freaking jacked. I gotta make sure dude, He's over there dead, but he dude, went. that's insane. I know, I know he went down. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be leaving here in like 10 minutes. Okay, sounds so I'll good. I'll be there. I'll probably be there by six. Okay, sounds oh, good. Thanks. All right. Hunt under, hunt number what? 76. <laughs> hunt number 85 or 95 <laughs> or something. <but laughs> yeah. Finally got her done tonight. Got Justin with me, my mom. Deer's laying out in the field. I have not even went and looked at him. So this is going to be a team effort for me and Justin because it's been a grind all season long. So let's go get our hands on him. Got a white belly right here. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Dude, that's everything we thought he was right there. <laughs> we'll drop time off the end of the. I guess he won't even call that F off the end of the main beam. Freaking tank, man. <laughs> That's the deer we're in here after. We, I got permission on this piece uh, back in the summer and uh, never really put any time into it. Decided to come out after shotgun season, get a couple cameras out, and really had nothing um, showing up, you know, nothing mature anyway. And uh, <laughs> Justin and I got a picture two days ago of this deer coming through a little gap by the pond right here. And we were talking on the phone today and we were just like, man, whatever. I mean, he was there two days ago. What, what, you know, when it was 50 degrees, what says that he isn't going to be there today? And sure enough, he's the first first buck out, and he was out within shoot two hours of the hour and a half of legal light at 4:15. And uh, I thought he was going to go north with those does, and for whatever reason, he stopped and decided to come back to this cornfield. And I made a loop, and I'm, you know, I ain't not super proud of the video and what happened, but that's just how it goes. And I got some good footage of him out in the field um, before before I looped around and got him on the GoPro. Uh, so it was <laughs> it was a heck of a hunt. I mean, this little bedding area back in here, it's way back in here. No one, you know, you can't get to it from anywhere. So these deer are feeling safe in here. <laughs> this is the reward of a long, long season for me and Justin. It's been up and down. Just can't get on a mature deer. We get on a mature deer and we can't get a shot. And it's been a heck of a ride, but glad to put my late muzz tag on this deer no doubt because it's been a year so first first deer for us on hunt club for this year always comes late muzz it seems like but we're gonna be after it here the next couple weeks justin still got a late muzz tag and we got some bow tags left so that's gonna be it for my late muzz loader season in Iowa. Oh, oh dude what? welcome to shed season <laughs> what pulling them around I wonder how long he was going to wait till he dropped those. <laughs>